All right, just got done seeing the Joker. And guys, oh, like I do not feel good. The movie was fantastic. But walking out right now, I'm getting in my car to drive away. I don't feel good about it. Like, oh. The, the, the cinematography, the acting, the music, spectacular. Some of the music was, it reminded me of The Revenant a little bit with the slow building, like violins, cellos, just really deep, um, atmospheric. It was great. I loved his costume, you know, his portrayal of the Joker was fantastic. And it was such a sad story too. Like if you see the trailers, the trailers really, they mislead you in so many ways. Oh my goodness. Um, and just right now as I'm going out of the theater, I pull out of my parking spot and there's a red, there's a red Tesla that's in front of me. And it was going really slow through the parking lot. I'm like, this person is driving so slow. What is this? You know, no one's in front of him. And then I look and I see there's no one in the driver's seat. And I see this guy standing on the side of the, on the sidewalk and he's holding his phone out and my brain immediately clicked. I'm like, oh my God, this, this is the smart summon. It's the first time in my life I've ever seen the, the car drive itself. It was maneuvering through the parking lot. It drove right past me when I was pulling out. I saw it in my rearview mirror. Uh, so the Teslas can now, if you're in the parking lot, any parking lot, they can navigate their way to you. They can, they can come to you. It's incredible. So it's the first time I've ever seen that in my life. I just wanted to comment on that. As soon as I get out of the Joker movie, is that a coincidence? I have no idea. But um, his costume, absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Just beautiful. I love it. I loved his costume, his makeup. But the movie itself was so sad, man. So sad. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but you should go see it if you like creepy movies, if you like atmosphere, you like tension, you like thrillers type type of deal. Definitely go see it. Um, it's not a horror movie and it's not an action movie. It's not like a big superhero movie or anything like that. I don't I don't know if there was like any CGI at all. There was a little bit of special effects just like with blood, but that's about it. It's a rated R movie. But other than that, there wasn't anything, you know, like even the gunshots seemed seemed real you know uh, everything was just uh, above board as far as you know cgi and special effects is concerned it was just minimalistic it was just a movie a good movie full of acting atmosphere solid music tension tone it was all there it was all there i just i just feel bad i don't feel good though I'm walking out of it which i guess is what they were going for if that's what they were going for they completely nailed it uh, there were parts, there were very few funny parts. I don't know if they were meant to be funny. Well, some of them were, like two of them were, were funny, funny parts. But the most, most of it was serious and just rather sad and upsetting. But it was also very true. It had a true message there too, you know? Just talking about society and the diversification between the rich and the poor class and just how wide that gap is getting and, you know? And just how things just aren't making sense anymore in this world. Like, I don't know about you guys, but for me, for the past however many years, decade of my life, it's like my world, my construction of the world, my view and my perspective has just been crumbling and falling apart on things that I thought were true or things that I believed. They're all just disappearing. It's, oh. I can say this much, though. I want to see Joaquin Phoenix as Joker again. Oh, my God. His performance was spectacular. My initial reaction right off the bat is still, I, I, Heath Ledger still wins it over for me, you know, just by a little bit of Heath Ledger's uh, portrayal. But his was right there, you know, right up on it. So good, you, you know, um, a great homage, a great nod to the, the late Heath Ledger. It was spectacular to say the least. So go see it if you're into that kind of stuff. You're gonna enjoy it, I promise you. And uh, yeah, all right, that's all I gotta say. Take care, happy Halloween. I love this time of year. October's my favorite month of the year. It's just great with the leaves and the spooky things and all that good stuff. All right, take care guys.